Hello, Forecaster here again, and we are back for episode 39 of the Railcraft server Let's Play. And uh, I came in today for the first time since I uh, was recording the last episode where I crashed out. Uh, I was still hovering over the Crag Mountains over there. And when I came into the base, I noticed a few weird things. One of them is this. Uh, it seems that the game is having trouble rendering some of the uh, cork chests. So, and as you can see, the uh, birch chest is in here, but it's rendering as a piece of spruce planks. And the spruce chest is rendering as birch planks for some reason. Oh, actually, I think it's the, um, these blocks are actually the Bibliocraft labels. So it's not the cork chests at all. I did not realize that before. But yeah, Bibliocraft is having some render issues and I'm still not sure what's up with that. Uh, there was a more uh, some of the things are rendering fine, like the shelves and the tables currently. Uh, these, not so much. Right. It's, uh, it's a bit strange, to say the least. Uh, we also have these junk boxes from multi-storage uh, are covered by the labels, which are rendering as full blocks for some reason, which explains that I thought uh, it was two different mods having issues originally um, another thing that is not so good is that the reactor is powered down it's actually out of fuel and the robot when I found it was completely out of power and offline as you can see the shutdown triggered but it's supposed to trigger when it goes below 50%. And as you can see, the power level was 49.9, which is just below 50%, when it shut down. But it was completely drained when I returned. Uh, I did put some fuel into this generator, which is why it has any power whatsoever. But uh, take my word for it, it was completely drained before. It's actually using... Is it? It's actually losing power. Huh. That's very strange. I am quite positive that is not supposed to happen. We'll turn off the charger. Is it gaining power now? No, it's still losing power. It's just slower than before. That's strange. But that explains why it was out of power. Uh, and the reason for some, so a number of things have been happening apparently. So one thing is that this area has apparently been chunk loaded for some reason. And I don't know why it's not supposed to be. There aren't any uh, world anchors here, and there are no other functional or uh, actual chunk loaders, uh, or there isn't supposed to be at least, and I certainly haven't placed any. So either something strange or something strange is going on and something is chunk loading this area, uh, even though it's not supposed to be chunk loaded. Um, and what had happened was it was waiting for the fuel rods to be created by this, but it had run out of um, empty fuel rods. So it was sitting here with two uh, MOX fuel in here and no more fuel rods. And it was sitting with six here waiting to be deposited into the robot, but it was waiting for two more. Um, still doing well on power but as you can see this has run through about half of its storage 
uh, just a little over half, it seems. Um, so it's kept running. And I, I don't know where the power's gone. I mean, the robot uses a small amount of power, but it shouldn't use that much when it is idle. Um, and I could probably measure how much power the robot uses when it's idle. Um, this was shut down. This is full. And it's not draining now that the reactor is offline. So it has to be something. I mean, this was full as well. I've just charged my armor a bit because it was uh, low or it had drained slightly from me flying over there. Um, so it, uh, this is empty. So it has to be something on this side of the, or, oops, dang it, uh, between that, or, yeah, on this side of the, um, of that capacitor, and on this side of this capac capacitor. And the only thing that this powers is the charger other than that uh, main power storage up there because everything else goes through there so none of these things that are connected to this this of course goes off to the farms and such none of those have been using that much power because it would have drained this um i'm pretty sure all of them are offline by now actually because well we're not uh, operating which they should be really uh, but like I said it would have drained that it's actually it's being charged by something this doesn't have any power that should not put any power uh, this should not have any power I am, oh, is it being charged by the windmill? Uh, this thing is running. Forcefully enable that. This should be. Yeah, okay. Something is drawing a small amount of power, I think. Let's turn it off. Ah, uh, that's a lucky. I mean, this is all uh, renewable, and it's completely separate from the main power system, so that should not matter. The question is where the power is going. Because this this should now be draining. Uh, let's get the e reader, and we'll have a poke around. I completely forgot about the um, the windmill up there. So we have power coming through this cable. I'm presuming that it is the farms farming systems that are using a small amount of power. Yeah, we have power going through that cable. Uh, let's wait here for a little bit, see if we have any, uh, if we have any power. No. By the looks of it, we have no power going that way. We have a bunch of power coming this way. So let's pop down here and have a closer inspection. So if I probe this bit, oh, yeah, we have a bunch of power going through here. And if we probe here, we should have occasional pulses. Now the pulses on this cable should be further in between uh, because this needs to collect enough charge for a packet which should be 500 yeah no 
2048 is the output uh, per packet. So it needs to collect that much power before it can actually send out. Actually, shouldn't that be that amount? I'm not sure. What happens? What does it show if we switch to voltage? One volt? That's weird. But yeah, anyway, so the, the farms are using power as well. So it's not just the robot, at least. Um, although the robot, like I said, should not be using any power at all right now. But apparently it is. Which is incredibly strange. Um, and also the area should not be chunk loaded. So I may have to figure out a way to investigate that. Uh, unfortunately, investigating chunk loading stuff is a bit tricky because you can actually see uh, how it works. And being a player being here kind of throws it off because it loads the chunks anyway um so you need you need some kind of tool to determine um, what is going on so we'll need to have a look at that because i don't want the uh reactor to use fuel when nobody is here i mean the the farms are supposed to eventually stop i don't know what, i don't know if the what the cart is actually carrying uh, maybe I should have a way to do I have a lever somewhere actually well okay so it is carrying wooden stuff um yeah, I have a stopping lever there. So it's it's basically it's slowly filling up the wood storage. I don't know if the other farms have been deactivated yet. Let's have a look in here. No. Not not you in close really. Which is not particularly surprising, I suppose. Um, but yeah, the, the farms should shut down eventually once their respective storages fill up. Uh, so I guess that's fine if... Although I don't know if they, if the farms are also being chunk loaded. Because it, it could very well be just the robot that has drained all the fuel um, from the reactor. Uh, just because it has gone, it's been long enough. I don't remember how many days it's been since I recorded the last episode, but it's it's been a while, like a week or so. Uh, and I can very well imagine that with the uh, drain of the robot, if the if it's it and the reactor has remained chunk loaded, that it would uh, eventually drain it. So that definitely seems like a bug. And uh, yeah, so definitely going to have to do something about that. But uh, it is night out. Uh, what I really wanted to do in this episode, I'm going to I'm going to have to look into the chunk loading thing off camera, unfortunately, uh, because it's going to be a lot of idling, figuring out what to do exactly. Let's have a quick look over here. Uh, this doesn't seem to be running. I'm not sure why. Uh, we have another tree is grown here. 
So I'm going to get rid of these leaves. Now, I believe I said in the last episode at the end that we were going to start uh, construction of the new base. Ow. <laughs> going to do this well I guess I will plant this tree here and then retreat that's basically what I wanted to do anyway just jetpack away into the night whatever um so construction of the new base I want to uh, start carving out the mountain that I'm going to have as the core which was this one over here with the um, little puddle on it and also apparently Skeletons. They don't matter. Apparently, they don't even see me for some reason, but let's get rid of them so they don't start shooting me suddenly. Uh, let's get rid of these. Okay. Any other junk? No, well, I'm fine. Okay, so. I don't want this water here. I mean, well, uh, well, I guess it doesn't really matter. It's finite, so it's not really useful for anything. At least I think it's finite. Maybe I'll leave it there for now. We're going to dig into the mountain anyway. Um, now question is how exactly I want to do that. Um, I'm thinking I'm just going to dig a bit down. So if we if we start off like this, we dig three down. This is going to be the we're going to maintain a sort of a building code where we're going to have I guess, I guess we want four thick, because then we have two blocks in between each floor, and then we have the the floor, then we have it, uh, some space, and then the ceiling below, um, and in this space we can have pipes and cables and such. And the reason we I want would want two is so that they can cross each other, because um, we can go above and underneath, basically two separate layers. Uh, because otherwise, it would be tricky. Now with industrial craft two cables, it's not really an issue because you can have them in the floor and then uh, foam them. But with things like uh, fluid pipes and other things. Uh, we could also potentially have uh, minecarts for uh, item transport if we wanted to, wanted to have such a system. But then we're going to have the um, ceiling there at that height. And I'm going to start here for now. We're going to 
that away and then we're going to take the mining laser and we're going to set it to three by three and then I'm going to fire in this direction like that then I'm going to fire in this direction and oh crap well uh, let's just plug that I think the water interfered or blocked the lasers a bit which is kind of weird because well I guess they got scattered or something reflections or uh, refraction and such uh, light stuff um, so I don't want three high I probably want the walls to be at least four blocks high maybe five uh, I'm thinking five because I want kind of a big big rooms uh, I want, want it to feel big I'm not sure what happened there I don't know why it reaches further oh I guess because there is less resistance because it has to I've never really thought about that but yes the way it works is that why can I fire here Oh, can you not fire the uh, three by three mode unless you actually click a block? Hmm. I guess that sort of makes sense. Still, this is a little annoying. I kind of wish it wouldn't lose strength when going through blocks like that because it just creates a bit of a mess uh, but I guess it's better than not having a 3 by 3 mode let's turn on now I don't want to I don't know where we are in relation side of the mountain now see this this is going to be slightly annoying because I know that it's going to cut blocks into that wall now but I guess I can just fill them back in but yeah I kind of kind of wish it was more predictable and that the beams just traveled a set distance and cut through uh, stuff in their way uh, no matter what it is uh, I guess it makes sense that the normal beams are well I call them beams they're not really they're more like pulses that they are sensitive to the material but when you're trying to make something like this it's a little annoying that they aren't even just because there happens to be fewer blocks on a side um, it's not a huge deal I sh probably should stop complaining about it uh, this is going to be a lot of crag rock what do I have in here I am going to do this and then I'm going to turn this on it's going to bring all of the 
crack rock over here. Then we can turn it off. Then we can put it all in there. Should probably clean up my inventory a little bit. But here is something, at least. Uh, I'll put torches on the floor. I'll probably put in electric lights. Uh, the illuminators from Industrial Craft 2. It's going to go through the ceiling, perhaps. Maybe the floor. I'm not entirely sure. I think they have a, a hitbox, which would make them slightly annoying to have in the floor. Unless I made the floor out of bits. One, one bit high. Kind of like carpet. Um, although I think they might be taller than the illuminators. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that that this is going to be the smeltery, kind of a factory kind of deal. I'm going to have, uh, going to make more rooms. This, this mountain is actually more spacious than it looks, because this. Actually, let's do. This only goes here, so we, and this room already seems like a decent size for ore processing and, um, yeah, for ore processing basically, and some fluid storage perhaps. Probably extend it a little more in this direction, but then if I need to I can have rooms here. Um, we'll probably have a central item storage here as well. Um, we're going to have a, um, a train terminal somewhere, uh, probably in that, uh, tower there. So we'll have something at the bottom. And then we'll have a system that is going to bring stuff up to the into the base from the terminal and sort it and such. And yeah, uh, we're running a little bit out of time, but this seems good so far. Now, what was I supposed to do? Um, right. I think I have a set of illuminators lagged off of the edge there. Still having some annoying lag spikes. I made some illuminators when I made my nanosuit helmet because they are used to make the night vision goggles. So I should have a bunch of them laying around somewhere because you you get a whole pile of them for each recipe. The question is where they ended up. I don't remember. But I'm positive that they are here somewhere. Unless I lost them. Which is not unfathomable. You know. Such things happen, I guess. Where could they have gone? You'd think they'd be... Oh, wait. Ah, uh, no. Never mind. I thought they'd be in here, but no. Oh, there, there they are. I didn't recognize them. I'm pretty sure in uh, 1.7 they used to render as a um, post looking, like a fence post looking thing. Uh, so I'm used to that. Now, 
that might actually be exactly one bit tall. Uh, where is the bit stuff? Is it in something over here? Maybe it's probably looked at it was rummaging through the chests here. Yeah, here they are. Okay. Let's uh oak planks will do, I suppose. I guess I could have used cobblestone as well, but uh whatever. Let's let's have a bunch of these. And if I put a bit there. Yeah, that is exactly one pixel. So one one sixteenth of a block height. Which is perfect because that's is the size of a bit. Now if I break this, it's going to be a... Okay, no, apparently that was a... Came off as a pixel, even though I didn't have... Oh, wait, no. Uh, yeah. It's actually a sculpture, or whatever you want to call it. Need a chisel to pop that off as, an, as a bit. Uh, but yeah, so that means that my plan to put these, because as you can see, I'm stepping up on it. So it does have a hitbox. Um, but if I want these in the floor, I can put bits on the floor to cover uh, them. Or carpets, I guess, but bits with bits. A, little, a few more options design-wise. Well, a lot more options. Um, why can't I collect this? It responds to the branch when I shift click, but not when I don't shift click. Can I get this back when I break it? Oh, okay. That's a bit odd, but whatever. So I need to take care of that. And we have run out of time. It's even gone a little bit over time as usual but um we have the the beginnings of a plan for the new base which i hope will work or pan out and so we're going to end the episode here of course uh we'll be back in the next one i'm going to try to look into the chunk loading thing in the meantime, uh, get that sorted and probably make some plans for the the new base. So with that, I will see you in the next video.